Previously on The Cloud's Daughters. I don't ride anymore. Oh. Is that because of what happened to your leg? And we were underage. I was 15, Nick was 14. He said, uh, if you're so good, mate, give the bull a go. He was always a better rider than me. I was slaughtered. 200 kilo of a bull can mash you up a bit. I'd never seen so much blood. The bull was right on top of it. I was in hospital for months. Mum came every day. Uh, Dad came a few times. Alex, not once. I know Dad blames me. Every time he yells at me, every time he picks on me. I've ended up with a limp. Dad hates me for it. It was an accident. It wasn't your fault. Tell Dad. Tell Nick. So sorry for your last man. Max was a great bloke. I'm so sorry. If there's anything I can do. Thank you, Liz. Are you sure it's okay to be here? We're paying our respects, Tess. So we're not related or anything. It's not like he's our fifth cousin twice removed or something. Of course not. Well, excuse me for feeling weird, but I've only got crash parties. Never funerals. You know, Max was a year younger than me. Gee whiz, eh? Who would have thought? Maxie Martin. Never smoke, never drink. Speaking of which, uh, want a refill, Harry? Another tea? Yes, thanks, Terry. What have you been up to, Nick? S.L. Sweetnam's been headhunting me for ages. Maybe it's time for me to go out on my own. <laughs> There'll be fireworks when Harry finds out. Well, Alex is getting Kalani. I don't think Dad's going to be surprised if I go out on my own. I'm looking after myself. I'm just going to go around and grab the car. I reckon the Haver race will still be on. Well, Max would have wanted it that way. Alex wins every year. You've got to run from the bottom paddock to the top paddock and then cart a hay bale back. Gee, you country folk have all the fun, don't you? Well, five years ago, it was for real tests. Rain was pelting down and Max's truck was out of action, so we all pitched in and bought the hay in by hand. 1,000 bales. And, of course, all the blokes started arguing about who carried the most. Of course. So now it's an annual event. Yeah, it's to raise money for the Miss Gungallon Quest. Oh, great. So we get to do it too, right? Well, not that there's any point. Is that right? I, I had no idea you knew my husband so well. Well, I didn't. I saw Max in town a few times, but that's all. Well, they were obviously meetings he never forgot. I don't see why. I'm, I'm just as surprised as you, Beth. Surprised about what? It seems I've been named in Max's will. He left you something. Oh, my God, we're rich. That's it. He left you a rooster. Oh, not just any rooster. This is a prize brown Lagorn. Max always won the gun gallon show with this one. Lovely. We can make a fortune selling a little blue ribbons then. <laughs> you know, I saw Max in town a few times, and the most I ever said to him was, how are you? Should have bought him a cup of coffee. We might have scored a car. Well, I said hello to him. I never got a rooster. I've been a lot friendlier than that and never been left anything. Oh, of course, Mum. You didn't sleep with a dead man. Come on, Meg, you can tell us. We won't breathe a word. It'll take some time to find your heart and come back home. You could walk for miles across every river and find your not alone. Cause I'll be there. You two, work to do. Be dark soon, Dad. You might have time to waste, I don't. I want that dead wood out of Patterson so we can put in ten extra head. What's the rush? This place is running well below capacity. We need to put in extra stock. 
Since when? Since now. I want more fences for cell grazing. We need to sink a dam. And don't just sit there, do it! What's the rush? You're gonna be with us for a long while yet, you know. What are you talking about? Of course I will. Alex Ryan's got a huge ego. Oh, but he's gorgeous with it. There's no need to race. Arrogant beyond belief. But it's true, he does always win. Terry calls Alex the human forklift. <laughs> How much does a hay bale weigh? 25 kilos. How much does a hollowed out hay bale weigh? No. Claire wouldn't go for it. She'd never cheat. I'll make it six years in a row, Dad. You gotta be there. No, no, Patterson's has to be finished, and I've got that near dam to sink. Wait till after the race, we'll give you a hand. I don't need your help. Who ran this place single handed when you were kids? Phone, Nick. Thanks, Mum. That's SL Sweetenham's. Could you tell them I already bought new stuff? It's not. I mean, why would it be? I don't know. They've been calling a lot recently. I'm starting to think they're after my staff. Well, I'm not your staff, I'm your son, so there's nothing to worry about. Why would he be looking for a job? You tell me. Now, look, if you don't win that trophy, don't bother coming home. <laughs> hey, of course I'm going to win. Harry. Sorry, Dad, you all right? Yeah, yeah, take more than a fairy punch to keep me down. She sure you're all right? Yeah, yeah, I said I'm fine, all right? I go and win your race. I've got work to do. Uh, leave him. That's for luck. Not that you need it, of course. Thanks, Mum. Gungellan last year. She's always bagged out living in the country. Come on, Joe, be generous. I'm just going to go take a quick look. Ma'am? Alex? Chris? How you going? Not bad. There's no way we can lose. This baby's as light as a feather. It's Craig Woodland we've got to get past at the pickup point. He's got the hots for Jody. Shouldn't be any trouble distracting him. Uh, thanks, Mum. Okay, we'll make sure we put the light bale at the back. That way, no one else will pick it up. Yeah, we know. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Gonna win again? Of course, I'm gonna win. Oh, Claire, don't do it to yourself. I hate being sorry for you. It's not about winning or losing. It's about charity. Well, you know what they say: all losers take the moral high ground. Yeah. Hey, dude. Just for once, I would love to wipe that smile off his face. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah. Hi, Jody. Hi, Jess Harridge. Hey. I heard about your mum and Max Martin. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with the reputation. There is if it's your mother's. So, how's the new rooster? Mm. Gave the old one a run for his money. Yeah. Well, your average rooster doesn't like competition, does he? So, there he is, boss of the hen house, and another bloke turns up. What's he to think? I don't know, Terry. What's he to think? Well, he's to think there's a, a fox in the hen house, isn't he? You're jealous. Well, something must have gone on between you and Max. I think it's only fair you should tell me about it. So what are you saying, Terry? Well? I'm sorry. Are you not talking to me? Are we not talking now? Wonderful.
Okay. Leave it to me. Sure. Hey, Craig. Thought I'd watch the race from up here. What, don't you want to see who wins? Oh, we all know it's going to be Alex. Drink? Yeah, I love one, thanks. Oh, well, let's go drink it in the shade. They'll be starting any minute. I should stay here. Go easy on you, Claire. Don't do me any favours, Alex. Right, eh? Come on, Claire! Come on, Alex, get into it, son! Test didn't stick around. Oh, uh, no, she's gone to watch from the pickup point with the others. <laughs> the route's the same as always across the rocks, through the gate, past the shack to the tree. You go and grab your bale of hay. And the first one back here is the winner. And as Max always used to say, run like the rain's coming. Ready, steady. <laughs> so, Craig, are you um, doing anything tonight? No, why? Oh, I just thought maybe we could go out, if you like. Really? Yeah, sure, that would be great. Yeah. Oh, we can go for some Chinese or, um... Sorry, are you sure you want to go out with me? Yeah, of course. It's just you, you keep walking away. Do I smell? Okay, you go kill it. Nuts? I'm staying for two. Craig, take a good look because. Go! Um, well. Yeah. Um,. My sister's got a daggy thing like that. Keeps you warm, eh? Yeah. And um, they come in lots of different colours as well. <laughs> Jeez, Joe, it's a Spencer. I forgot what I was wearing it. OK, at least I got him distracted. Good on you. Thought I know you must have cheated. Alex? 
Again, why are you sore? Again, running down that hill, I see nothing on her back. Well, let's see. Oh, no, I'm Nick, not... I don't think that'll be necessary. <clears throat> nothing wrong with it. <laughs> oh, put it this way, mate. At least Dad didn't see you lose. <laughs> What do you reckon we get cracking and finish clearing out Patterson's? Trying to earn some brownie points with Dad, eh? So I didn't bring home the trophy. At least I'm not thinking about doing a runner on the place. Did your dad turn up at the race? A kid, aren't you? He's too busy this year. I thought that's where he must have been. Graham Walters has called me three times about the new helicopter he leased. Try the sat phone, Mum. Well, there's no answer. Oh, he's probably trying to sink the new dam himself. I hate it when he gets like this. What's going on, Nick? Have you got a job with SL Sweetman tonight? If I do, I'll tell you, OK? Can I have a hold? You can keep the damn thing. Ill-gotten gains. I thought you were sick of Alex big nighting himself. I am. But this proves nothing. He was a real winner, not me. If the boot was on the other foot, you really think Alex wouldn't have cheated to beat us? You know he would. So that makes what we did OK. Ah, oh, is this one of those cheats never prosper kind of things? Yeah. It's a principle, yep. Oh, God! Sorry, Meg. <clears throat> Thought we weren't talking. Yeah, well, I, I don't know what got into me. Um, what you get up to, none of my business, is it? No, it isn't. Not as if we're married or anything, so it doesn't matter two shakes. That's right. So if it doesn't matter two shakes, there's no reason why you can't tell me what went on with Max. Ow! Hey, you get out of it, you crazy bird. Watch it, watch it. That's a prize brand leg on. Oh, yeah, and I, I've been a prize flaming fool, haven't I? Oh! Oh, I bet everyone else knew about Max except me. Probably been talking behind my back for years. You should have stuck to not talking, Terry. I might have forgiven you. Oh, yeah? Since when has it been a crime to be curious? Oh! Since now. I think you'd better leave. Meg, I will not be pushed around by a rooster. That's it. Oh, Get out of my veggie got... patch. Go on. Cry. Shoo! Yeah, shoo, shoo, shoo. Oh! Get out. You'll get yours, pal. <laughs> Just you wait. Yeah. Oh! Why don't we tell Nick and Alex to turn the cameras around and then they can check the fences for us? Save us time. Cost us too much money. We'd have to pay them. Well, it'd only take ten seconds. Provided Nick's still here to work the computers. Well, where's Nick going? Tess? Oh, my God, it's Harry. Claire. It's all right, Harry. Come just, on. just get my phone, will you? Don't talk. It's all right. It's all right, Harry. We're here. Help's here now. It's busted. There's no way we're going to get this off him. Bloody thing, Tip Dermot. All right, to Kalani. Yeah, make it fast. I couldn't jump free. It's all right. She won't be long. Help will be here soon. Do it. You sit down. 
Yeah, it's right on top of him. It's on his legs. Well, yeah, Jack, the front tire doesn't come off, Terry. That won't work. Don't move it. What do you mean, don't move it? Get it up, mate. The ambo said not to move it. It could make it worse. How can it get any worse than this, Nick? Exactly. Can you feel your legs, Dad? I wish I could. My left leg's killing me. No, oh, my chest. I can't breathe. Let's move it! What, are you a doctor now? Will you stop it? He needs you. Harry, just relax. We're getting something yeah. to you, OK? He's having problems breathing. Look, I'll go and get the tractor. It's got a lot more grunt. I'll lift this yeah. thing off by the time the ambos get here, right? I'm not waiting for the ambos. I'll fire the fisher and get the doctor myself. Have you got any pain in, you, in your shoulder or your Sh arm? Shoulder, yeah, arms, no. Shoulder only. Oh, God, it's not a heart attack, is it? <laughs> yeah. OK. You're going to be fine now, all right? I'm going to fly to fish and get the doctor, OK? Just keep him warm, keep him comfortable, no fluid. Claire, give us a hand, stop it slipping. <laughs> Listen, Alex, if I don't get through this... Don't be stupid, you'll be fine, OK? I just want you to know Kalani's yours. Look after it. Yeah, you know, Will. You know that. Dad, you, you know I... Yeah, 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 I know. I'll just go. Right. Water. Blanket. Uh, a jacket. I need a jacket. No, no, it's all right. You've already packed one. All right. Uh, coffee. Maybe I should make some sandwiches. Uh, I don't think anyone will be up to eating or drinking. Maybe we should just head down there as soon as we can. Yes. No. I can't. I can't do this. Not again. How long? Soon, Harry. Alex will be back real soon. Just get me out of this, please. Yeah. Hey, you okay? Oh, it's just... God, it hurts. Harry, don't talk. Just... You'll be okay. Don't give up on me, Harry. Don't do this. We're going to have to shift him. Uh, yeah, get it off me. They said no. Oh, he's getting worse. Uh, if we take it slowly, he'll be all right. Claire, he's my dad. If I say we don't move him, we don't move him. Nick. I want to change my will. Oh, come on, Dad. Don't be like that. You'll no. be fine. No, I have to. Claire. You'll be my witness. Right here, Harry. And I want... not just Alex to get Kalani. Both of you. All right. Clear. I heard Kalani goes to both sons. It's just to make up for... you know... do a good job. Of course, you know I will. We both will. I can't stand hospitals. All the waiting, not knowing. But Harry's tough. He'll make it. Oh, I'll never forgive him. Never. But it was an accident. No, it could have been prevented. I'm not I was here. Sorry? Someone called. Who? From the Rodeo to say that the boys were there. He could have stopped them. He could have said that they didn't have his permission. But he wanted to teach them a lesson. And what have we all learned? Take it easy, Dad. You're doing real well. Mm. OK, OK. <laughs> oh, you think you've got to help me get this thing off me? The doctor said it's going to make things worse, Dad. Okay. Where's Alex? He's coming. He's coming. You know this, Alex. Stay calm. You're still, Dad. Look, it's, it's going to make it worse for you. Dad. Dad. It's Terry. Look, just get this thing off him! Oh, thank God.
Okay. I'll fix this. You hook it on the tray. No worries. You got a tension pneumothorax, Mr. Ryan. Busted ribs gone in the space around your lung, and it's collapsed. Plus, it looks like you got a busted leg. Spare me the Spanish, Jim. Is he going to be okay? Oh, easy fixed. The lung hurts like hell, especially, doesn't it? Bet you thought you were going to die. Oh. So he's going to be all right. Oh yeah, yeah. Lucky you found him in time. Now I'm going to have to reinflate your lung. Now it's going to hurt like crazy, but you'll feel better straight away. Okay? I'll chuck us an antiseptic, probably, Alex. Yeah. Okay, you ready? How's that? Better? Okay, let's get this thing off him. All right. All right. Okay, I'm jacking her up. Hospital, pajamas. Or we can do that, or um, Alex and Nick can. Do you think we should go now? I was distraught before. I should never... It's our business. No one else's. You understand that? Yep, of course. Harry? Harry? Harry, darling. Oh, I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm okay. Oh, Harry. I can't thank you enough, Jim. He saved his life, mate. Right. He's gonna be fine. Thank you. Oh. How a day, huh? Oh. Any news from the hospital yet? Maybe be okay, be out in a couple of days. Good. Practice stuff. Have to put the new dam on, huh? Then start fixing the fences, dab one up a cell grazing. Yeah, right, huh? Sounds like a good idea. If you fix the whole boundary line, we could run a new breed. Thought you had other plans. No, nah, there's plenty to do here, you know. Yeah, I know. Thought I'd find you here. It's not fair, is it? Dad was never the bastard, Harry's. So, Harry could have prevented the whole accident. Nick's riding career over. Mm -hmm. And he let Alex take the blame for it. All this time. If Alex knew. We can't. I promise Liz I keep it to myself. Yeah, well, you can tell Liz that I forced it out of you. No, I promised her. Besides, he probably wouldn't believe you. I still have to tell him. Just on my way to see you. Same here. Any news? It's nothing serious. Busted leg, lung's got to mend. Should be out in a few days. Great. You could have just called, you know, Claire. I know you're busy. We lost a heap of time out there today. I um, just wanted to make sure, you know, you're okay. Good on you. Alex, 
We need to talk. No, wait. I owe you an apology. What for? When Jack died, I had no idea what you were going through. And I reckon I could have been a better friend. Don't worry about it. You know, I really thought we were going to lose Dad out there today. I mean, yeah, I know we don't always get on. But all the things he's done, and it's all been for me. I guess I just never realised how lucky I am. Yeah, I guess you are. Righto. Righto. See you later then. Terry, dodge! I can't believe it. I can't believe he'd do that. It's just a rooster, for goodness sake. Are you sure it was Terry? He threatened it. Well, that doesn't prove anything. You'll get yours. That's what he said. Well, he's a bit weird, but I don't think strangling's his style, Mum. That's it? That is it. You, uh, you wanted to see me? I'm very disappointed in you, Terry. I know as well as anyone how easy it is to fly off the handle, but there's a line. And today you crossed it. Uh, this is about the rooster, right? <sighs> Don't make it any worse. Just cut out the games. Look, Meg, I'm sorry for, you know... Too late, Terry. I can't have a relationship with a man who takes out his jealous rage on a poor, defenceless animal. He attacked me first, remember? And that makes what you did all right? I thought I knew you. You do? Not anymore. Today, you killed more than just a rooster, Terry. I never touched it. And that's why it's over. Goodbye, Terry. Hey, Meg. Ah, come on, get up. Get up. Are you sure we have to do this? Harry's a neighbour. Yeah, well, so is Max Martin. We only had to go to his funeral. Tess. Well, quite frankly, given what I now know about Harry, that's the only time I want to come here again. Right. Visitors, Harry. Oh. Harry? How are you? How you doing? Glad to be out of hospital? You kidding? Whole week of being poked at and prodded? No, I can still smell the place. Hmm. Can I help give you a hand with these? So, how'd it go? It wasn't too bad, I hope. I'm quite capable of putting flowers in a vase by myself, Tess. Right, well, um, I'm just gonna be outside. Well, nice to see the daughter-in-law dropping in. <laughs> well, you must be feeling better if you're back at that one. Well, it makes sense. You and Nick get along. Just think how much stock we could run if we combined the two properties. Well, aren't you forgetting his half of Kalani? Well, there's no need to change my plans now. I was your witness, Harry. I heard you promise him half. Well, Alex will still need him here. So why don't you leave the place to both of them? No. Wouldn't work. Too many differences. And our some bridges just can't be mended. You really think that little of Nick, that you'd leave him nothing? Oh, you got that completely wrong. Nick's a great kid. I think the world of him. So why? Because he'll make it on his own. He doesn't need my help. And Alex does. Oh, you know what Alex is like. Look, I know what I'm doing, Claire. It's all going to work out perfectly. As long as you play your part. These are lovely, Claire. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Claire. For everything. Good day, Florence. Tending to the wounded. Nick, we're friends. I'm just going to come straight out and tell you this. Oh, sounds ominous. I'm sorry. What? 
You're not getting Kalani. Well, you heard what he said under the tractor. He just wanted to keep you here. He knew about the job at Sweetenham's. He said that? And wanting you to marry me again? Guess I'm the booby prize. This place is going to Alex. He's the oldest. That's the way it works in Dad's head. Don't worry, it's okay. Look, I've got to get back to this, okay? Terry hasn't stopped calling for the past 24 hours. Can you please talk to him? He killed my rooster. And if he doesn't stop calling, I'm going to have to kill him. I've got to do something, Mum. It's not so much what he did, Joe. It's more the fact that he can't be honest about it. Even if I wanted to talk to him, there's no point. I just keep denying it. Jeez, Mum, it's not like there's a lot of blokes out there to choose from, you know? There's no reason to stay with someone. I know. I just meant I think you should be 100% sure Terry did actually do it before you give him the flick. Who else would strangle my rooster? Who else would think it meant you and Max Martin had a fling? <laughs> I should have sorted this out ages ago, but before it all went pear-shaped. But I was so annoyed at what everyone was thinking, I didn't see why I should have to. <laughs> Nothing went on between me and Max. It was just this one time I ran into him at the pub and I helped him choose the winning numbers in the chook raffle. He offered to share the prize with me, but I said it was a bit hard to split a frozen chook in two, so he said next time. <laughs> Max never won anything. No, well, except for this one chook raffle and all the ribbons for his rooster. So that must have been why I got it. You see, this was the next time. Nothing went on between us. Honest, I, don't, I hardly knew your husband. Sorry about the rooster. I've, um... I've been a bit upset since he went. <laughs> Nick must have been gutted. I reckon he knew it was a lie. He had to say that, didn't he? He wants to think their father's done the dirty on them. When Dad left you half of drovers, I was so angry. I worked my guts out. Well, you hadn't set foot on the place in years. I probably would have felt the same. 50-50 was the right thing to do. Otherwise, you end up like the Ryans. I thought you were ashamed of our ill-gotten gains. Well? If cheating in some silly race is the worst thing we've ever done, I reckon we're a lot better off than other people. Nick! You didn't tell me you were going off on another trip? Yeah, it's a last minute thing. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Well, what will I tell your father? Tell him it's business. He'll understand. To it. <laughs> I don't know why he just didn't say that nothing had gone on with Max from the start. Because everybody assumed otherwise, Terry. And because I shouldn't have to defend myself. 
especially to you. Just like I shouldn't have to defend myself about being a psycho joke killer. Then we're even. I didn't know you were the jealous type. What? You'd rather I just gave up on you without a fight? So you think I'm worth fighting for? What do you reckon? Cheers. Cheers. Mm, this is something new. Sort of. Waste not, want not. Hmm. You didn't. I can't eat another man's... It's mine now. Second hand rent? That, that's even worse. Oh.